hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see lesson 4 enumerating object in the pipeline in module 3 so in this lesson we will learn how to enumerate object in the pipeline so that uh, we can work with one object at a time during the automation so in this lesson we will see the following topics purpose of enumeration and uh, basic enumeration syntax and the demonstration for that and uh, advanced enumeration syntax and the demonstration for the advanced enumeration so in um so basically what is the purpose of enumeration so uh, the enumeration so we can use to take a collection of object and uh, we can run an action on each of the item so that would process them one at a time so basically the enumeration is the process of performing a task on each object one at a time in a collection so uh, not necessary when powershell has a command that can perform the action you need so in case if the powershell command itself there is an option to perform i mean if there is a partial command already that will perform what we need so in that case we don't need to use this enumeration so it is useful when an object has a method that does what we want but partial doesn't offer an equivalent command so when partial doesn't offer an equivalent command what we need to do so in that case we can use the enumeration so for example if we can just um, let me just open a couple of notepad So if I run get process name notepad stop process. So in this example, PowerSelf does you know offer the command what we need. So we don't want to use the enumeration. So we can just use the command that PowerShell provide. So we can also use the another command which does the same way. Stop dash process name notepad. Since there is no notepad process running, we get this error message. okay so next uh, basic enumeration syntax so to perform the uh, enumeration we will be using the for each dash object command so uh, this command has two alias either we can use um, for each dash object or we can also use for each and uh, we can also mention the percentage symbol So in this basic syntax, uh, we can run a single method or access a single property of that object that were piped into the command. So we can see this example. So like we have seen in where dash object uh, for each also has a basic syntax and uh, advanced syntax. Okay, let me just uh, run this command get child item path so let me create a folder name called example in the C drive and let me put some text file on it
will group by bit to for each and the member type and grab let me use the member name okay so we have encrypted each file inside this example folder hope you see the lock symbol here for both the notepad So in this syntax, we do not include parenthesis after the member name. So if you look at this example, so we do not include the parenthesis because uh, this is a basic syntax, which is meant to be short. So we will frequently uh, see written this without the uh, member name as well. So we can just uh, directly uh, use the encrypt uh, method name. And uh, <clears throat> we might see an alias instead of the full command. So for example, we can run the same command, get child item. See example file so we can instead of use um, for each we can mention the percentage symbol and uh, without mentioning the member name we can just type encrypt so next we'll see the limitations in the basic syntax so the basic syntax can access only a single property or method. It can perform logical comparison. I mean, it cannot perform the logical comparison like a dash and or. It cannot make a decision. So it cannot run any other commands or code. So for example, we can see the uh, basic uh, code, get dash service for each member name stop and member name close so this command does not run and it produce an error because uh, the basic syntax won't perform any logical comparison. Okay, so we will see the demonstration in the um, another video during the uh, lab session. And next we'll see the advanced enumeration syntax so this allows us to perform any task by writing commands in a script block so we can use a dollar ps item or dollar underscore to reference to the object that were piped into the command so uh, it has an additional parameter that allow us to specify action to take before and after the collection of object is processed So basically the advanced syntax for enumeration provide more flexibility and functionality than the basic syntax. So instead of letting you access a single object member, we can run a whole script. So that script can include just one command or it can also include many commands in a sequence. So for example, um, let us see an example. So get dash child item, mention the path, C colon test. File for each 
process using the script block score ps item or we can use dollar underscore encrypt so here for each command can accept any number of object from the pipeline so it has the process parameter that accept the script block so this script block runs one time for each object that were piped in from the from this command so every time the script block runs the built-in variable which is a ps item or dollar ps item or dollar underscore can be used to refer the current object so in the preceding example command encrypt method of so this use the encrypt parenthesis method for each time for the each object it runs okay so in some situation we might need to repeat a particular task for a specified a number of times so in that case we can use the for each object i mean for each dash object command for that purpose when we pass it to a input that use the range of operator so the range operator is two period which no space between them for example we can use the following command one two period without space between them hundred so for each object get random okay so in this command the range operator produce integer object from one through hundred so these 100 object or pipe to for each forcing the script block to run 100 times however uh, because we neither use a dollar underscore or dollar ps item in this uh, script block so the actual integers are not used so instead we get the random numbers 100 times so that's it in this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.